Hey guys, take a minute to what the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your AirPod not connecting to your iPhone or any other device you're looking to set up your AirPods for. So we're going to walk you through the troubleshooting steps that Apple generally recommends if you have issues connecting your AirPods with your iPhone. And hopefully by the end of this video, you can connect your AirPods with your iPhone. So here I have the AirPods Pro, but this method will work on the regular AirPods as well and the AirPods Max as well by pretty much following similar step here. So let's get right into it. First thing is first, of course, when you're trying to connect your AirPods, it's really important to keep one thing in mind is that your AirPods needs to be charged. Sometimes we find that just because, you know, you have the AirPods or if you're setting up brand new, it might not have charge and you need to charge it. And the way to charge it, like you would charge an iPhone, just simply plug it into your outlet and just plug, charge it and give it a good, you know, at least half an hour or so. Of course, it takes longer than to fully charge it. But when you're charging it, make sure it's also the actual AirPods are in the case as a self. So there's two different charges that happens. And as you can see here, we mentioning it, right? The AirPods themselves hold the actual charge and then the case itself has charge as well. So you wanna make sure that both of them have charge because the initial connection that happens between it, it's connected in, connecting when it's in the case itself. So you wanna make sure both of them have charge and you should get this animation pop up if you connect correctly. Now, of course, if you're not getting connection here, this pop up will show up. So what can you do? Of course, make sure they are charged. The next thing you wanna ensure that the AirPods themselves are not connected with any other device. Sometimes you can connect your AirPods with multiple devices like if you use it on your iPhone, maybe on your MacBook as well, make sure that you take it off one of the devices so that you can kind of make sure the connection is clear. Also on your iPhone, you wanna make sure in settings in your Bluetooth here option here, again, if you're trying to connect your AirPods, make sure you're connected with only one device here. Sometimes if you connect with things like a sound bar or another external Bluetooth speaker or something, you might have issues connecting with the AirPods. So just limit the connection to one at a time just to make sure that that's not the issue there. So now let's say if you're still doing it and you're still having issues, what else can you do? Well, the next thing you can do is turn on airplane mode. So you might be wondering why we're turning on airplane mode. This allows the phone to kind of turn off all the network related connectivity on it and then we're gonna turn it back off. So that will just do a network refresh which allows the phone again, things like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and any connectivity issues to be resolved here. You can also do it by pulling the menu up here from the top control center. Again, give it, turn on Bluetooth and then turn it back off. Again, just does a quick network reset and fixes any minor issues that you have. Now, the next thing you want to do is go into settings again. And this time what we'll do is turn on and off Bluetooth as well, because the way the connection between your iPhone and AirPods work is through Bluetooth. We're gonna turn off Bluetooth just like that and then give it a moment and then turn Bluetooth back on here just like that. And now hopefully by then you're able to click on your AirPods and you can connect just like that and the con connection menu pops up for you and you're connected there. Now let's say you're still having issue connecting. What else can you do to fix this issue? Well, the next thing you can do here, it's gonna be force restarting your iPhone. So to, how do you do a force restart? Well, doing a force restart on iPhone is pretty simple here. You're gonna press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down and then hold the side button on the right hand side just like that until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo and we're gonna let go. Now, this is different from just restarting the phone. This will reload your phone code in a fresh, give it a clean slate, start fixing any minor software issues that may be impacting your AirPods from connecting. So we're gonna press and release the volume up and then volume down and then hold the side button. Now if Siri pops up just like that, it's because we didn't press and release those volume up and down quick enough. So we'll press and release the volume up, volume down and then hold the side button just like that. As you can see this time around, we get this menu. Now we're not gonna slide to power off. We're just gonna wait till the phone goes black and it takes about four or five seconds or so and then it's gonna go completely black don't worry we'll we'll see the apple logo reappear and then we'll let go of that big side button and that will again like i said do a force restart reload the phone code and fix pretty much any sort of software minor issues the phone may be experiencing that's causing the connectivity issue with your airpods and after that we're going to go ahead and try to see if we can connect 
Again, one more time, just like that. And hopefully your earpods are connected and you see it just like that. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing that you want to do. And now we did a, a force restart on the phone itself. Now let's do a actual reset of the earpods themselves. So how do you do an ear, earpod reset? So generally how it works is you close the lid here and then look in the back of your earpods. You see a button here that's very much flushed against the code here just like this where you see that circular button we're gonna press and hold that for about 15 seconds and then what will happen is when we press and hold that for 15 seconds on the front side we should see the light turn different colors so let's go ahead and do that so I'm gonna be on the back here I'm gonna do is press and hold that button just like this and then I'm gonna look at the front as you can see right now we have amber light here this light color will change to something else just keep on holding it should change to maybe a white or a different light so you gotta make sure during this whole process you're holding the button and then again you'll hold it again just to see the light changes here give it about 15 seconds or so when you're doing this and after you've done it for 15 seconds and you're gonna let go of that and then go back to your phone again here make sure you can connect again this time as you can see here now we get this new pop-up menu to connect our airpods like you would do for your for very first time go ahead and follow through that process and go ahead and connect your device so now let's say you still don't get that menu what else can you do to fix your issue well the couple of other things we can do here to fix our issue next thing we want to do is do a network reset to do that we're going to go into settings of our phone and then when you go to your settings, we're going to go to general and then go general. This time we'll go all the way down here and then we'll close this out. We're going to see in general where it says transfer reset iPhone. We're going to click on that and then we'll click on the first option for reset here. But before you do a network reset, which we'll need to do here is to understand what a network reset does. A network reset does is it's removes any network settings that you have saved like Wi-Fi settings, your Bluetooth settings, your VPN settings, anything network related, connectivity related with your phone. So it will not delete your photos, videos, apps or anything like that. It's pretty much easy to do. Once you click on it, basically it will take about 30 seconds to a minute where the screen's going to go black, reload the network settings and then come back to your main screen here. We won't do it here just because it takes a little bit of time. But after you have done that, try connecting one more time again. Now, after that, if you're still having issue, the final thing Apple recommends doing and pretty much Apple's most recommended solution is, again, we're going to be in the settings this time and then go to general, software update, look to see if there's an update. If you see an update, it will say download and install here. Fortunately, on this phone, we already updated to the latest version at the time of recording, which is 16.2. But if you're able to update to the latest version, if there's a new update out, you want to go ahead and click on download and install and the reason why you're doing the download and install in the new update is sometimes with software there's bug fixes or a new update that could be impacting connecting your airpods and when you do that and connect it it also updates a firmware on your airpods at the same time which again will help if there's any issues going on with your iPhone or with your iPhone and your airpods finally if you're still not able to connect there could be actual faulty issue with the hardware of the airpods themselves in that case only apple can help I'm gonna take a look at that sometimes what you can do is if you're having that sort of issues you can go into search for things called apple service programs which are basically if you search this up in google it it'll take you to this link which gives you service program basically if there's issues that Apple knows it's recalls on certain devices for example AirPods Pro at one point some devices that were affected would have issues with their sound so there's a recall on the AirPods themselves who knows Apple could potentially give you a replacement for it for completely free or if there's an issue that they can fix maybe they'll charge a small fee depending on if you have warranty which usually AirPods you get about one year warranty they might be able to help with that again that's depending on Apple and you would have to take it to the Apple store if all the solutions we mentioned did not work so hopefully by now you have a fix or solution that 
for your AirPods not connecting with your iPhone. If so, please make sure that like and subscribe button while you're at it. We want to hear from you guys what fixed it for you. Leave a comment in the comment section as well. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.